you know, you gotta understand when you go into your queries or you go into where the register will go, you're un under it. Okay. So you don't have the option to be lazy or you don't have the option to, okay, well, I I'll take care of my assignment, you know, later on or I'll get up, you know, at, at five o'clock in the morning and do the assignment real quick and then turn it in. Like these things, we don't have these options if you really want to achieve a certain goal. So I ended up working my way up. I started the first game of the season. 16 the first year. Uh, played against AJ Green. He was Florida State. It's University of Georgia. ABC. I can't read my name. The lady on ABC. It was pretty crazy. It was, it was so real. And uh, yeah, I was a fan. I, I was right. Can't get it. And I still went on scholarship. I did. And then uh, my tuition. Uh, and then we go into the next upcoming season. It was summertime. You have to be up to date, up to date with your classes going into your senior year. So I was caring about it. I'm going to take credit. Well, I can't pay for tuition at ASU in the summertime. I don't have any financial aid. So I had to take a bus to Mason Community College uh, to take a class. I was like, I went to practice, got out of practice, got out of the bus, took the bus, got out of two buses, took the bus because my car was crap. Took the bus to Mason Community College and took my class. It was nine o'clock at night. Got out and I had to take the bus back. And then that one I get up to do it again. Class was Tuesday, Thursday. So I did that. I was like, "Hey, oh shoot!" Yeah, I completed class at the end. Now I'm going to play next season. I'm going to win and get scholarship. I'm like, "Okay, this is awesome." Battle injuries. I battle, you know, the, the, the roster. I made it. I'm here. I'm here. And I wanted to be the star, I wanted to be the best. I didn't want to just be the best on that team, I wanted to be known. So I deal with some injuries, uh, things happen, draft, draft, preparing for the combine. And I get the ball from you know, certain college or certain uh, NFL teams, Colts call it, other uh, Tampa Bay like, There's people calling them, like, oh, this is crazy. And I cannot believe this is happening. Like, are you serious? Really go get to play in the NFL. Like, so I'm excited. Uh, and when the pro day come up, I, I did well. I didn't do as well as I wanted to. Uh, <coughs> things didn't work out as, as, as I wanted to, but it is what it is. So uh, I'm going to Houston, Texas. I don't know if you want me to talk about the domestic violence. You want to? I think, I think it's a good story. So prior to, to, prior to the, uh, I'm getting all this hype, you know, a lot, a lot has happened. Oh, shoot, it's crazy. I'm getting a lot of attention. And at the time, I was in a relationship. Now, my wife was in a relationship. And uh, she didn't like all the social media attention I was getting from the girls and things like that. But at the same time, I was with her 24 7. She was staying with me. So it wasn't a happy thing. To make long story short, she was a little bit. And I threw a mirror at me about the size of this table. She <laughs> just the size of this table. I ain't you, boom. Mirror, mirror shattered against the wall. Now, I had a choice to either take her and throw her and play with her. Or I could I could have, you know, I got to argue with her. Just messed with her and argue with her and walk away. So I literally threw my hands up. I said, no, not me. Uh -uh. <laughs> I'm leaving. <laughs> so you're not going to get me like this. I got neighbors. It's not happening. So I'll walk out and leave. Uh, and a week prior to that, my friend gets in trouble. I mean, Bruce takes him dragging his girlfriend down the street. Like, they get into a big fight. They get into a big fight. So he, he didn't have an opportunity to get into trouble. So I'm making it past that situation. Uh, and then I go, go to Houston, Texas. And these are things that we talk about progression. We talk about things that we go in life. So I go to Houston, Texas, and I'm in a meeting. And this is my first like kind of breakdown I had myself. Like, oh, man, this is crazy. It's really happening. Preparing to play these pain men. Like, is this serious? Like, <laughs> me and girl over here, you know, watch this guy. Yeah, he just retired, right? So I'm like, hey, man, he just retired. Well, this is when he was in his prime. Shout out to me. Hey, you know, I'm not even still in And I'm preparing against him. I'm talking about, hey, well, you got to treat him differently. Any, anybody you've ever met, like as a quarterback, Peyton Manning is completely different. We have different coverages designed for those specific. I'm watching. In a hall, I have to call my mom. <laughs> 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 I call my mom and say, I don't know if I can do this. I'm serious. Yeah, 
is connected. Maybe you're gonna be all right. <laughs> you're right. I mean, you to look how far you've come. Regardless, if you don't, things don't work out. Look how far you've made it. Wow. Graduated from college. Yeah, I came to play in the NFL. Regardless, if you make it. So things happened. The bounce around was unused a little bit. Bounce around played in the CFL, played football, got injured, and then boom, life hit. Now we're like, okay, football, I got a degree, but football is my life. So the plan is about what kids, what's next, right? I've got things, I've got things to do. I currently work in like behavioral health, like hospital. That's unbelievable. I'm a motivational speaker and trainer. Mm-hmm. Uh, when football was over, I went to this form of, I don't call it depression, but I went to this form of like reality, of both. And I didn't, I, I stayed away from football as far as possible. I didn't watch it. And watch it because I'm like, man, how did this happen? Like, what I missed? I stayed away from it. So I went to psych. I was like, well, I'm going to become a music psychologist. I'm just going to go straight into the field. Right? And then uh, I did that for a while, and then I recently. Been running for a lot of people. Like, why are you not coaching? Why are you not doing this? Why are you not doing that? So I have a crazy busy schedule because I coach in college, right? I'm working at a psych hospital, working for three days a week, uh, one of the spells, and uh, I'm training athletes and I do motivational speaking. So my story of all the time. So I do a lot of stuff as of right now, but there's this foundation that I laid. I know you guys got to know the foundation that I laid that. Uh, I gotta get it done. Right? You gotta get it done. If you want something so bad, you gotta get it done, regardless of what's in your way. So I've used that as my motivation as well as my family. I'm a little girl, my wife back there, I care about that. Yeah, that's, that's what I do it for, right? But you have you have things that you have to use as a as a mantle, as a, a skill that is gonna get you to your, your best. So if you can't do it on your own, whatever it is that you wanna do it for you, you're done. And that's what I, I do. I do this. I love it. So I'm doing what I love now. I don't want to stay in sight. I don't want to stay in that. I don't. <laughs> Just to be honest, I enjoy it though because I love people. I want to work with people. Uh, at the psych hospital, every day is a new day. I promise you. You, you will not get bored. Uh, but other than that, I appreciate you guys having me here. Uh, we still got time. So um, I, think I, want, I want to make sure that they have some time for questions. But, yeah. um, Part of the reason why I asked both Amanda and you here today, you, you two have a lot in common, um, and I think very, very important things. One, both of you are probably among the nicest people I've ever met, and I think being nice goes a really, really long way. I think being nice is underrated. Um, you two are among the most determined people that I've ever come across. And both of you, and you, you both talked about decision making, oh you both make important and correct decisions for yourself. Um, so I just want to sort of throw those things out there, because obviously, you know, I know Pierre and I know Amanda a lot more than you're going to be able to get to know them today. But those are the things that I've come across, and those are the things that I see in common with a lot of people that I come across that are, that are successful. Um, maybe even more successful than other people thought they were going to be. Uh, those are the things that I, that I see. Uh, so if we have 12 or 13 minutes, I'm going to make sure that you guys can ask him whatever, whatever you like. So you have-